for a check there, turning away from Zidlitsky. Back to Briere. Fire! Oh, All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today uh, we will be doing a Flyers versus Penguins uh, exhibition game preview. Today is July 27th, 2020. It is one o'clock in the afternoon uh, and we are very close uh, to some hockey. We are one day away uh, from this exhibition game first of all, with the Flyers and the Penguins. Uh, and today I'm going to be kind of previewing this game, kind of what are my thoughts, what I think the Flyers have to do to pick up a win and what I think uh, will be a, a, I guess you could say, a key to success going into this round robin to definitely get some points uh, and maybe get a little bit higher in the standings from before. Now, uh, I'm going to start off here with some line combinations that I think that could work. Um, I personally think that it's going to be a tough game. I don't think it's going to be this huge, like, I guess you could say, like, blowout game. I don't think it's going to be, like, a high-scoring game. I think... I honestly could see this game going into overtime or a shootout. I predicted last night that the Flyers will win 4-3 in a shootout uh, with a couple goals from guys like Niskanen. I believe I had two defensemen who scored. I can't, I can't remember who I actually picked. I um, mean, if you listen to the episode, which we did with uh, Fernie Drummond, who is Paint Sue, the guy who paints the goalie mask for guys like Brian Elliott and things like that. He's painted Steve Mason and Elliott Brzgalov. So if you have not checked it out, please go check it out. It's on our YouTube channel and Spotify and Apple or wherever you listen to a podcast. But again... Uh, I'm going to start off with the line combinations here. Uh, so, for my uh, lines that I think could happen for the Flyers, um, I think we can maybe see Giroux with Couturier and Voracek. I think that, that was a line that was used a lot in camp, and I, it, it looks really good. Uh, Lawton or Farabee with Hayes and Konechny, I think that would be a really good line. Uh, and then maybe Lawton or Farabee, either or, with either uh, Derek Grant or Morgan Frost, with either Limblom, Aubrey Kubel, Pitlick, or James Van Riemsdyk. I know that's a lot, but the Flyers are able to use 13 forwards uh, and 70 uh, in this in this exhibition game. So there's going to be a little bit of line juggling here. So I have four wingers on one line for a reason that it could be switched. Um, and also I have uh, Lindblom here highlighted if he does not play. Uh, and for the fourth line, you could probably see Raffle or Andy Andrioff with Bunneman or Nate Thompson or Albi Kubel and Pitlick. Um, Personally, I honestly would like to see, um, I guess you could say, if, if anything, I mean, you can really switch this up. Um, you, you could put Raffle on the third line. You can put uh, Bunneman on the third line. You can put Thompson on the third line. I don't think they'll do that. Um, but then you could also see another line, maybe of Andreoff, Thompson, uh, I don't know, m maybe a guy like Lindblom. I I'm not sure. Um, you know, the Flyers could be rolling with, like, five lines here uh and then interchanging like a center and a wing and you know every other shift so there could be a lot of things here um and then for the defense i would like to see pro robin niskin and that's that's kind of obvious sam hyman myers uh hag and braun zamula and freeman and then gossesper and andy walensky uh the 10 defensemen there and then hard and elliott as uh you know av said that um, Hart and Elliott will be splitting this game, and I would have to think that Hart would probably get the first two periods uh, with Brian Elliott getting the third there. Um, and for the Penguins, um, I, I asked a Penguins account on Instagram um, if he, he had any uh, ideas of what the lines would look like. He said that these lines could be Gensel, Crosby, and Sherry uh, for the first line, Zucker, uh, Jason Zucker, Malkin, and Rust. Uh, Patrick Marlowe, Jared McCann, and Patrick Hornquist, and then Chris Tanev, Teddy Bluger, and Zach Aston Reese. Pretty solid lines there for the Penguins. It will be a tough game. Um, and to be honest with you, I think it, 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 I think it's going to be a good game. I'm not necessarily sure how uh, it's going to work out with the Penguins. I don't know if they have a split in their goaltenders, um, how their defense will be. Um, I, I think it'll be a good tight game, but I think the Flyers can win this game. I think the biggest thing is their start. I think if they have a really good start, if they can win the first five minutes, that's huge. It's going to be sluggish hockey for the for probably the whole first period, maybe even going into the second period. I think it'll start to pick up, though, um, and I think maybe towards later in the night in the games, it might pick up um, maybe with a little bit of intensity. You know, may, you know, you're definitely your first game back, and with the way that that Rogers Place and Scotiabank Arena look with all of this stuff, um, with like the the animatronics and and the seat covers and those big gray seat covers it looks amazing i'm so excited to watch the game tomorrow um i might be doing a live stream i will be having a game review that is a hundred percent uh that is a hundred percent um right there i will be having a game review i'm not sure about the live stream though 
um, because it is kind of at a uh, kind of a rough time. It's at four o'clock. Um, but again, I think it'll be a fun game for the Flyers. I think that they will get a win. Um, as I said, these lines, I, 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 like anything can change. Um, and again, they can use 13 forward, seven defensemen, and they will be using both goaltenders. So there's going to be a lot of interchanging and stuff like that. Uh, now for the special teams, I think it'll probably be around the same special teams. Um, I'd have to think that first uh, PK unit would have to be Hayes uh, and Lawton with Provorov and Niskin, and I have to think that would probably be the first unit, or Katuri and Nauru with Provorov and Niskin, and I have to think those are probably the main ones, and then that, that second D-pairing, probably uh, either Sanheim and Myers, maybe Sanheim and Braun. Uh, but as for the power play, I honestly would like to see Giroux, Katuri, Voracek, Konechny, uh, and Provorov. Um, maybe you throw JVR on that second unit, maybe with Hayes. I'd like to see the two defensemen again in Sanheim and Niskin in back there. Um, it, it will definitely be something fun to see. I brought this up on the podcast last night for the exhibition game. I would love to see Connor Bonham in, in the front of the net there on the power play. You might call me crazy, but he has some really good hands. He's a big guy, um, and I think down low in front could definitely help out Bonham. In. And why not? It's an exhibition game. Try it out. Um, I'd also like to see Albert Goubel. Maybe a little bit of Tyler Petlick on that power play if you want, um, and just maybe just for fun. Uh, this might be this might sound stupid, a little bit of a joke as well. A little maybe we could see some Justin Braun on the power play. It would be awesome. Uh, but again, guys, remember. Uh, oh my God, and I even forgot Morgan Frost. But even still, um, there are a lot of guys that we could be seeing on this on these lines and things like that. So let me know what you guys think below on the lines. Let me know what you're thinking for the game. I know the game doesn't matter. It's kind of a preseason game. But you know what? I would like to see a Flyers win, and that's what I'm predicting. 4-3 to three in a shootout. Remember, guys, podcasts, articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.